Yes, ma'am. We are. Jolly good. We're coming in to land. <laughs> Welcome to America. <gasps> Miss Rabbit at your service. Where do you want to go? You're Miss Rabbit. Sure. But this is Miss Rabbit. Every town needs a Miss Rabbit. That's right. Bye. Enjoy your trip. Is this Hollywood? Hollywood? No! This is New York. Hop in. I'll give you the tour. <laughs> <laughs> New York, the city that never sleeps. Do you never sleep? Well, yeah, but only at night. <laughs> wow! The buildings are so tall! First stop of the tour, the Empire State Building! Wow! wow. Can we go to the top? For sure. Going up. Do you do all the jobs, Miss Rabbit? No, just the important ones. Ice creams! Ooh! We're so high in the sky! Oh, I can't look. Daddy Pig does not like heights. But there's so much to see, Daddy. Yes! With this telescope, you can see even more. I can see a big green lady with an ice cream. That's the Statue of Liberty. Look at me. I miss a Statue of Liberty. <laughs> Come on, people. we got to get moving. Oh, going already? Yeah, like we say in New York, if you ain't moving, you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm moving. Where are we going next, Miss Rabbit? Times Square. Look at all the lights, Mummy! Sunny side up, or sunny side down. Eggs over easy, no need to frown. <laughs> <laughs> Eggs over easy, please. Coming right up. Cooking an egg and shaking a leg. Cooking and shaking and cooking an egg. What's X over easy? I flip the egg over. Thank you. And what's sunny side up? I don't flip the egg over. It stays like this. Sunny side up, please. And me. <coughs> Miss Rabbit is good at cooking eggs. Cooking an egg and shaking a leg. Cooking and shaking and cooking an egg. I love my sunny side up egg. Mmm. Eggy. <laughs> Thank you. That was delicious. Now I'll just sit back, relax, and... So, who likes dancing? Me! Good! Then y'all come and meet Mr. Bob Bobcat and his band. All join hands and step to the right. Keep on stepping and make it tight. Oh my gosh, oh my Joe. Keep on stepping and here we go. Let's all join in. Y'all be needing these. <laughs> Take your partner by the hand, now everybody swing! Swing, swing, swing! Woo, you, woo, ha <laughs> Peppa, would you like to do the singing? Yes, please! <laughs> Jump up and down like you're in a cup. Jump up and down and... <laughs> Never done a square dance like that before. Ah, are you digging up the road? No, miss. This here is a canyon. Ooh, that's a big hole. Yes, it is. 277 miles long, 18 miles wide, one mile deep. Wow. And you dug that hole all by yourself? No, sir, I did not dig it. That canyon was carved out by a river a long time ago. Ooh. If y'all want to know more, there's an information desk over there. Hey, how you doing? I'm Miss Rabbit. Oh, it's another Miss Rabbit. Yeah, there's a lot of us about. Would you like a tour of the canyon? Yes, please. Then hop in. <laughs> wow! Amazing, isn't it? It certainly is. These rocks.
rocks have been here since the time of the dinosaurs. Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> there aren't any dinosaurs now, but many wonderful animals live in the canyon. There's an eagle! Wow! wow. The next part of the tour is by boat. Boat? This rope ladder is for your convenience. What? You want us to climb down? Yes! Down you go! What do we do now? Just sit back and go with the flow! Okay. Just watch out for the rapids! Yes. It's like we're really in space. That's right. Time to put on your costumes. <laughs> Pepper and her family are dressed up as broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> you look funny, Mummy Broccoli. So do you, Pepper Broccoli. Shh. No talking on set. We are about to start filming my movie, Vegetables in Space. Lights. Camera, action! Attention, the galaxy is being taken over by a bunch of naughty carrots. Not the carrots! Yes, the naughty carrot bunch. I, Super Potato, am here to save the day. And I, Hash Brown, will save the day too. Um, what do we do? You are the vegetables in space. You have to cheer when we save the day. Oh, okay. How are you going to save the day, Super Potato? Uh, we haven't thought of that bit yet. Oh, no! The naughty carrots will destroy the universe. If only there was some way of getting rid of them. We can't eat the carrots. But there are too many. What's this? There are some fans here to see Hash Brown. It is Miss Rabbit, Miss Rabbit, Miss Rabbit, and Miss Rabbit. Hooray! It's the Miss Rabbit! We decided to take the day off for a change. We couldn't miss Hash Brown. He's our favorite potato starch based movie star. <laughs> You're too kind. Uh, could you help us save the universe? We have to eat the carrots. Sure thing, we're rabbits. We love carrots. <laughs> save some for me. I love carrots too. What about my raspberries? You can't take your garden with you, Grandpa. Come on, it'll be fun to get away for a bit. I suppose so. But if we're going to go, I just need to make sure my raspberries will be safe. Pepper and George, you play in the garden while I pack a bag for the trip. OK. <laughs> <laughs> there. What are you doing with your raspberries, Grandpa? I'm keeping them safe from those pesky birds. Are you planting them in your shed? Um, sort of. Here we are, bags packed and ready to go camping. What are you wearing, Granny? This is my motorcycle jacket. It keeps me warm on the motorbike. Oh, my raspberries will now be safe and sound. Let's go. Very good. Do you have the helmets and goggles? Here they are. You must wear a safety helmet if you ride on a motorbike. All aboard. Yes, Granny Pig. Which way should we go? That way. The seaside. Hooray! Whee! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the life. <laughs> Granny's motorbike goes brum, brum, brum. Brum, brum, brum. Brum, brum, brum. Granny's motorbike goes brum, brum, brum. All day long. <laughs> <laughs> this is Grandad Dog's garage. Hello. Hello! Fill her up, please, Grandad Dog. Granny Pig! I didn't know you had a motorcycle. Yes, we're using it while you fix our car. Well, the car is fixed. You can take it now. 
Oh. oh. If you don't mind, I think we'll pick it up later. We're having too much fun on the motorbike. Bye! Bye! I can't wait to get to the cafe. Um, when I said there's got to be a cafe at the top, I should have added there's a chance there won't be any. Hello there! It is Miss Rabbit's cafe. Amazing. What can I get you? Coffee for Daddy Pig and me and juices for Pepper and George. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. This is just what I needed. Yes. It really was worth climbing to the top. Oh, this isn't the top. What? No, you have to keep going up. That way. OK, we've got this far, so we have to keep going. Onward and upward. <laughs> <gasps> Mummy, why did they make hills so big? Oh, I don't know, Peppa. I hope <gasps> the amazing thing at the top is amazing. Yes, I hope so too. Oh, it's all gone far. Oh, I think we're in the clouds. We must be near the top. It's getting flat. I think this is it. We made it. Hooray! Wow! I can see the whole world. Look, there's the playground. <laughs> I can see the supermarket. And there is Susie. <laughs> I told you it would be amazing at the top. It is amazing! <laughs> now all we have to do is climb down. Well, going downhill is a lot easier than going up. Come on, George. <laughs> Let's roll a bit. Whee! Whee! Pepper and George love rolling down hills. <laughs> that looks fun. Can you? Roll, Daddy. I think if I started rolling down, Pepper, I might not be able to stop. <laughs> Daddy Pig has tripped on a mushroom. Ah! Ooh, look what George has found. It's some old rope. It's sea treasure. <laughs> Another wave, George. Run! <laughs> <laughs> look. Shells! More sea treasure! Hooray! Watch out for the wave! <laughs> <laughs> Poor Granny! You've got your feet wet! Yes! Oh, plastic bottles! They don't belong on the beach. And here's a bottle with something inside. It's a message in a bottle, Pepper. Ooh! What does it say, Granny? It says, Hello, my name is Little Reggie Rabbit. I am on holiday with my mummy and daddy. Who's Little Reggie Rabbit? I don't know, but he's left a telephone number. Can we ring him, Granny? Why not? Hello, Grumpy Rabbit speaking. Can we talk to Little Reggie Rabbit, please? I'm afraid there isn't a Little Reggie Rabbit here. But there is a big Reggie Rabbit. That's me. Oh, so where is Little Reggie Rabbit? Well, that was me a long time ago, mind you. Little Reggie Rabbit was Grumpy Rabbit when he was a little boy. Oh. We found your message in a bottle. What? But I must have thrown that bottle into the sea a hundred years ago. But we don't throw bottles into the sea anymore, do we, Grampy Rabbit? Uh, no. Too much plastic in the sea. We found lots of sea treasure on the beach. Mainly plastic. Uh, did you pick it up? Yes. Good for you. Maybe you can make something from it. Then you can be like me. Grampy Rabbit likes making things out of old junk. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> How are you today, monkey? <coughs> oh, 
dear. Monkey has a bad cough. <coughs> That's not monkey coughing. That's you. No, monkey has a bad cough. <coughs> Why are you closing and opening your eyes? I am closing one eye because I'm winking. Why? You wink to tell people it's pretend. And monkey has a cough. <coughs> Oh, it's a game. <laughs> Here is George. <laughs> so, Dr George, monkey has a bad cough. Dr George, what cure do you suggest for the cough? It's just pretend, George. That's why we are winking. <laughs> Betty Buzz! Good advice, Dr George. Monkey must go to bed <laughs> and not watch any TV. No fun for Monkey until he is better. <laughs> Thank you, Dr George. <laughs> Daddy Pig has arrived home from work. I'm home. Hello, Daddy Pig. Daddy, Daddy, Monkey had a cough. Dr George told us to put Monkey to bed with no TV. And now Monkey is better. Is there something wrong with your eyes? No, Daddy. We are winking. Oh? It's just pretend. Oh, I see. That is clever. And you learned how to wink today, did you? Yes. Well, I learned something new today, too. I learned how to talk like a pirate. Ha ha! Jim lad, shiver me timbers. Arr. Why did you learn to talk like a pirate? Well, you see, I've given up my old job and I've got a new job as a pirate. Daddy Pig. <laughs> it is Mr. Stallion. His car has broken down. The police. Thank goodness you're here. What seems to be the trouble? My car is broken. Don't worry, Mr Stallion. We'll sort this out. Thank you. No need to thank us. We're just doing our job. Car parked in middle of road and obstructing traffic. Now we simply move the car out of the way. Ugh, there. And the traffic can move again. Hooray! Emergency over. Bye-bye, Mr Stallion! Bye-bye! Bye! So you see, children, our day is full of emergencies like that. We never know what will come next. Calling all police. Calling all police. Who's that? It's the police station. Receiving you loud and clear. Over. Emergency! Cat stuck up a tree. Another emergency. Can we use the siren again? Of course, Freddy. We've got a cat to rescue. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. What's going on here, then? It's Mr Cat. Meow. Mr Cat is stuck in the tree. What are you doing up there? I climbed up. Why? It seemed like a good idea at the time. <sighs> and now you're stuck? Yes. It's a good thing we're around to help, isn't it? Yes. <sighs> I'll get the ladder. Don't worry, Mr Cat. We'll get you down. <laughs> Sorry, Miss Rabbit. Just mending the roof. Well, please mend it quietly. This is a library. OK. <gasps> the emergency telephone. Hello, rescue service. Miss Rabbit. Tiddles the Tartice is stuck up a tree again. I'll be right there. Back in a mo. Keep everyone quiet for me. OK. Thank goodness you're here. Tiddles is too high up to reach. Hmm, do I need a helicopter or an aeroplane or... Oh, a ladder! What a bit of luck! There was already a ladder here! 
There! Finished! Lovely job! Lads are coming through! Stand back, everyone! Got you! Miss Rabbit has rescued Tiddles the Tortoise. Tiddles, you naughty boy! Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Just doing my job. Hello, rescue service. Oh, I'm stuck on the roof. My ladder has vanished into thin air. Oh, uh, how strange. Don't worry, I'm on my way. Thank you. Oh, what would we do without Miss Rabbit? Hold tight, Mr Ball. I'm coming up. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Just do my job. Miss Rabbit has rescued Mr Bull. Hang on. This is my ladder. Yes. Lucky for you, I, uh, found it. Yes, that was lucky. Bye. Bye. See you later. Oh, so how am I going to get down? Daddy Pig and Mummy Pig are getting lunch ready. Mummy, I've run out of things to put in my diary. Oh, why don't you tidy your room? But it needs to be something exciting. You went to the circus. Hmm, I've got an idea. Daddy Pig, please fetch the toy basket. Right you are, Mummy Pig. Daddy Pig is taking the toy basket into the garden. What are we doing? We can make our own circus. Roll up, roll up. See the amazing Mummy Pig juggle before your very eyes. <laughs> Watch as Daddy Pig juggles with four plastic skittles. <laughs> oh, oh, George, please hold this hoop. And now, a mummy pig will jump through the hoop. Oh, OK. Drum roll, please. Hoopla! Hooray! <laughs> this is just like a real circus. And now, Peppa Pig will jump through the hoop. Drum roll, please. Hoopla! Hooray! And now, George Pig. <laughs> Hoopla! Hooray! Now it's Daddy's turn. Yes. The hoop seems to have shrunk since I last used it. I've got a better idea. <laughs> Where is Daddy going now? My turn! Ugh, this is impossible! Don't worry, Peppa. We've got all day. Ugh. Ugh. I'm a bit bored, Grandpa. Ooh, what's that? It looks like a fairy castle. There's a windmill and a dinosaur. It's just kiddie golf, Peppa. It's for little children. Grandpa, we are little children. Oh, yes, so you are. All right, you and George can play. <laughs> <laughs> this is the kiddie golf course. How do we play? Well, I suppose it is quite fun. The ball has to go through that windmill, over the back of the dinosaur, onto a fairy castle and into the hole. <laughs> you go, George! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> What's this? Grandpa, are you playing kiddie golf? Uh, yes. Pepper and George are little, you see. Lucky you! I wish we could play kiddie golf. You can play with us! Oh, thank you, Pepper. Hmm, let me see now. Oh, bad luck, old bean. I say, this is rather fun. Oh. It must be your turn now, eh, Grandpa Pig? Oh, this is not really my kind of game. Don't worry, Grandpa. You can hit the ball as many times as you like. 
I suppose so. We've got all day. <laughs> OK. Doesn't live in the wild. Ah, we have a pet insect with us today. How do you do, Stephen? Stephen says, how do you do? Marvellous. All aboard for the creepy crawly safari. <laughs> Here we are in the wild wood, full of creepy crawlies. I can't see any creepy crawlies. Here, try using a magnifying glass. A magnifying glass <laughs> makes tiny things look big. Ah, a ladybird. <laughs> Oh, how charming! Yes, and the ladybird's home is this leaf. Stephen lives with me at my home. We watch TV together. <laughs> mm, it sounds like Stephen has a very comfy life. Yes, Stephen is very happy. Next stop, the rocky wilderness. Here, we get to meet another insect in its natural home. What is it? A millipede. It has lots and lots of spiky little legs, so it can walk quickly. Stephen doesn't do much walking. So what does he do? He keeps still and looks like a stick. Ah! And now we arrive at the grass savanna, the home of a very special little insect. Oh, my word! Grasshoppers! Ooh. <laughs> are they super jumpers? <laughs> they are! Wow! Grasshoppers move quickly. Hey, wait for me! <laughs> That's the thing about insects. One moment they're here, the next they're gone. Ah, Stephen's gone! <gasps> Stephen the stick insect has run away. Oh no! Where can he be? Maybe Stephen heard the call of the wild. But Stephen lives with me. He doesn't like the wild. Don't worry, he can't have got far. Yes, everyone look for Stephen. Remember, Stephen looks like a stick. Is this him? No. We come to the very best bit. Spin the hoop around your middle like this. Wow! Madame Gazelle is spinning the hoop around her middle. You try. <coughs> Everyone is trying to spin their hoops. Madame Gazelle, I can't do it. It's not working. My hoop is not very spinny. It is difficult to spin a hoop around your middle. Don't be sad if you cannot do it straight away. It takes a lot of practice to get it right. It is home time. Take your hoops and practice at home, children. <laughs> Look, Mummy, we've got hoops to take home. Oh, wonderful. Daddy, Daddy, look what we've got. Wow, hoops. They are for exercise. I see. Madam Gazelle says exercise makes your heart go a uh, boom, bang, boom. That sounds great. You throw them up in the air like this. Hoopla! Hoopla! And catch them like this. Very good, Daddy. <laughs> And you roll them like this. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> and you jump on them like this. <laughs> oh, that looks fun. You can do it too, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ooh, that was good. My heart is certainly going boom, bang, boom. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Ready, steady, bounce! <laughs> <laughs> bounce, bounce! George wants to go. OK, George, I'll lift you on, but I'll keep hold of you. <laughs> George is a bit too little to bounce on the branch on his own. Ready, Ready steady, steady, bounce! <laughs> 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 That's enough, 
bouncing for today. See you later. Bye, Danny. So, what's next? I think it's the hopping logs. These are the hopping logs. Susie Sheep is here. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Hello, Susie. Watch me. I can do it without touching the ground. Hooray! <laughs> My go. Oh, 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 I did it. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> now it is George's turn. There you go, George. <laughs> Oh, it's a big gap, isn't it, George? Would you like some help? One day, when George is big like me, he will be able to do it on his own. <laughs> What's next? It has to be the monkey bars. Hey. Here are the monkey bars. Candy Cat and Pedro Pony are trying to swing across them. Oof, oof. It is difficult not to let go of the monkey bars. My turn. You just have to swing like a monkey. Look. Ooh. It's easy when you're big and strong like me. Ooh. You're not swinging. You're walking. Follow a couple of simple rules. Before setting sail, check the weather. Nice and sunny is good for sailing. And always take a phone in case you need to call for help. Simple rules, but it's amazing how many people don't follow them. And then they have to be rescued by my lifeboat. How does the lifeboat rescue them? Good question, Pepper. First, we ring this bell. <laughs> Then I pull this lever and uh, whoosh! The lifeboat shoots down this ramp, making a huge splash to the rescue! Wow! Can I pull the lever now? No, Daddy. The lever can only be pulled in a real rescue. The lifeboat won't be launched today. Oh. Thank you for showing us the lifeboat, Grabby Rabbit. You're most welcome. Bye-bye! All that talk of sailing makes me wish I could set sail again. But, Dad, you're staying at home now. Oh, yes. That's right. I promise to never set sail ever, ever, ever again. Mmm, I fancy a bit of cheese. Grampy Rabbit likes cheese. Oh! There is no cheese in the fridge. No problem. I'll just get some more. This is Madam Cow's cheese shop. It is on a little rock out at sea. Hello. Hello there. Uh, do you by any chance have any cheese? Of course. This is a cheese shop. We have lots and lots of cheese. Goodbye. Good, they've got cheese. Oh, but what if they sell all the cheese before I get over there? I'd better hurry! We've got this coconut. Good! And there's this tin of pineapple slices at the back of the cupboard. Will they do? Yes! Now you need to buy a ticket. <laughs> I see. And you put your name on the ticket. Daddy Pig. If your ticket is the lucky one, you win the hamper. Fantastic. Uh, Mummy, can you buy the rest of my tickets? <laughs> well, I suppose it is all for a good cause. It is the next day. All the children have brought tropical fruit for the lucky hamper. Bananas and a tin of pineapple. <coughs> I have a mango and four tins of pineapple. I've got a real pineapple. Wow! And a tin of pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful! Our hamper is full. Now we can decorate it with tropical things like palm trees, parrots, and fish. <laughs> Children are making decorations for the hamper. I'm making 
making a palm tree. Here is the trunk and here are the leaves. <laughs> what a lovely palm tree. Let's stick it on the hamper. I am making a parrot. Wonderful. It will look good just here. I've made the same. And I've made a tropical fish. Oh, perfect. I've made a pirate flag. Yo ho ho! <laughs> Thank you, Danny. The hamper is finished. Who will be the lucky person to win our hamper? <laughs> Hello! Oh. The parents have arrived. Thank you, everyone, for giving so much fruit for our lucky hamper. Wow! wow. Nice! It looks amazing! And thank you for buying all our raffle tickets. It is time to see who will win the hamper. Ooh. There is strawberry, orange, or lemon flavor. I like strawberry. Remember, the jelly is for Mummy Pig. What do you think she would like? Uh, strawberry. Hello, Pepper and George. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Can you guess what we're making? Let me see. Are you making jelly? Yes. I love jelly, all wibbly wobbly and delicious. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> We're back home, Mummy Pig. Very good. Right, let's make jelly. <laughs> First, we open the packet and take out the jelly cubes. Ooh, they are a bit wibbly and wobbly. We break the jelly cubes into a bowl and add some hot water. A grown-up must do this bit and stir. The water has gone strawberry colour. Yes, the jelly cubes have melted. Now we can pour it into the jelly mould. The fridge will make it go cold and wobbly. How long will it take? Not long. Let's set the timer. When the timer goes ping, the jelly will be ready. a long time. While we wait, let's make Mummy a card to go with the jelly. Yes! Pepper and George are drawing a jelly card <laughs> for Mummy Pig. Very good. What should we write inside? Um, dear Mummy, all this jelly is for you. Love from Peppa and George. Kiss, kiss. Um... Please, can you share your jelly with Peppa and George? <coughs> and can Daddy have some too? Lovely. <laughs> there we are, all clean and fresh again. <laughs> Mummy, why can't George go to the toilet like me? George is too little for the toilet, Peppa. He is potty training. He is not very good at potty training. He will get better, Pepper. You were just the same once. What? <laughs> I never did potty training. Or me. <laughs> we all did potty training when we were little, Pepper. Even mummies and daddies. Really? Yes. <laughs> now I remember sitting on the potty like this. <laughs> so, George, next time, before you poo-poo or wee-wee, call the magic word potty. Potty! That's right, potty. If you do it right, you get to stay all clean and fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play Giants! <laughs> e fi fo fum I smell the smell of a clean, fresh George! <laughs> Quick, George! Hide from the giants! <laughs> I'm coming to get you, little piggy! <laughs> Excuse me, Madame Sheep. Have you seen a little piggy around here? <laughs> Does he smell clean and soapy fresh? Yes! <laughs> he went that way! Come back, you cheeky piggy! <laughs> I'm coming to get Let's get you to your potty. 
Landed on top of a tree. Oh, how do I get down? Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We'll rescue you. Uh, we'll call Miss Rabbit's rescue service. Hello, Trampoline Park. Oh, the emergency telephone. Hello, rescue service. Mummy Pig is stuck in a tree. Now, I will listen to your heart with my stethoscope. A stethoscope makes your heart sound louder. Dr Polar Bear can hear Peppa's heart beating. Would you like to listen? Yes, please. <laughs> it's going bumpy dump, bumpy dump, bumpy dump. <laughs> and now Teddy. Is Teddy's heart going bumpy dump, bumpy dump? No, Teddy's heart doesn't do that because Teddy is a doll. Oh, I see. Now I'll check your ears with my special torch. <laughs> it tickles. That's all lovely. Now I'll check your mouth. Say, ah. Uh... Ah. Uh... Wonderful. Do you want to check my nose? <laughs> Thank you, Peppa. I can see that your nose is working very well. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see you jump up and down. <laughs> I love jumping up and down. And flap your arms. Okay. <laughs> Super. Now, do you like eating fruit and vegetables? Yes, I do. What are your favourite fruit and vegetables? I like apples and oranges and bananas. Good. And do you like broccoli? Mm, I like broccoli a little bit. OK. But I love spaghetti. <laughs> spaghetti isn't a vegetable, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> I love spaghetti too. <laughs> is Peppa up to date with her vaccinations? Yes, she is. A vaccination stops you getting ill. Very good. Well done, Peppa. Bored. It is Belinda Bear and Simon Squirrel. They are big children. Hey, Peppa. Yo. Hello. Is that your skateboard? It's my daddy's. Can you skate on it? Yes. My daddy taught me. He's the best skateboarder in the world. Well, I suppose I am a bit of an expert at it. Really? So, what do you make of these ramps? <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow! Amazing! Simon and Belinda are very good at skateboarding. Peppa, would you like to try? Yes, but I can't skate like you. Hmm, 
But only because we're older than you. Yes, we're almost grown-ups. I'm nearly ten. Wow! Maybe you big children could give Pepper a lesson. Yes, please. OK, we'll teach you. As long as you keep it slow and safe. Of course, we'll keep it real cool. Let's go down this little ramp. I'm here to catch you, Pepper. OK, Daddy. I'm here to catch you too. <laughs> George is helping as well. <laughs> Now, Pepper, put both feet on the board. Yes, I've done that before. And we'll give you a little push. Um, it looks high. I'll take you a bit lower. Ready now? It's still quite high. How about here? OK. Wow! I did it! I did it! Well done, Pepper. Yes, you did brilliantly. <laughs> going to do it again. Watch this! Oof! To put your hands and feet on, like this! Wow! Who wants to go? Me, please. Like this. Very good, Pedro. <laughs> <laughs> Which bobbly bits do I use? Any colour you want. OK, I'll do yellow. Susie Sheep is climbing using the yellow bobbly bits. Peppa is using the blue bobbly bits. This is fun! George, would you like a go? <laughs> George has climbed to the very top. Well done, George! My little brother is the best at climbing. <laughs> That was our little climbing wall. Now for our big one. May I present Mount Everest? Ooh. Mount Everest is very high. Yes, which is why nobody climbs Mount Everest without a safety rope. If I want to stop, I simply come down gently on the rope. Ooh. Who wants to go first? Are you sure, George? <laughs> Remember, you can come down any time on the rope. <laughs> George is climbing Mount Everest. Wow! wow. Oh, my goodness! That is high! George has reached the top. <laughs> Brilliant climbing! Oh dear, George is a little bit worried. Hang on, George! Mummy's coming! Stop! You can't climb without a rope! It's against the rules! No time for rules! I have to rescue George! <laughs> Mummy's here! Do you feel better now, George? <laughs> So I think the answer has to be no. Please! Oh, all right then. Hop aboard! <laughs> Have a nice time! Bye-bye! Bye! While I wait, I suppose I could have a read of my newspaper. <laughs> this is exciting! Calling police boat. It's the police station. Emergency! Emergency! A boat is sinking. We are on our way. It is Grumpy Rabbit. His boat is sinking. Hello, Grumpy Rabbit. Hello, Pepper. Good to see you. What seems to be the problem? Uh, well, I built this lovely boat myself from all bits and bobs of junk. But for some reason, it won't float. A boat that doesn't float? It's lucky we were called. A boat that does not float on water. So, unless there's anything else you want to report, we'll be on our way. Uh, would it be OK if you rescued me? Of course! Grab hold of this life ring. The police boat has rescued Grumpy Rabbit. Hooray! Bye-bye, Grumpy Rabbit! Bye! This is really fun! <laughs> Calling police boat. Another emergency! Pirate ship on the river. Repeat, pirate ship on the river. We're on our way. 
Looks like we've found a real pirate. Aha, me hearties. Sorry to trouble you, but we just need to check if you're a pirate. We thought we'd caught some pirates earlier, but it turned out they were just playing. That was us. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, uh, I am playing too. Wow, amazing costume. And your ship looks like the real thing. Yes. I'd like you all to wash your hands. <laughs> <laughs> wash, wash, wash your hands. Wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, 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 bubbly. Wash them nice and clean. <laughs> Very good. Now, let's have a look at my tractor. Isn't she a beauty? Yes, she's lovely. She's got big, chunky wheels and a strong engine to pull things along. The tractor is pulling a trailer. Hop in, everybody. Let's go for a tractor ride. Hooray! <laughs> Here is a field of long grass. The field is ready to be cut. You wait here and watch. I put a cutter on the front, a baler on the back, and the tractor does all the work. The tractor is cutting and making bales. Wow! Job done. All thanks to my tractor. The trailer is joined to the tractor again. On with the tour! It's very muddy here. Will we get stuck? No! Tractors are good at driving through mud. <laughs> and now we're going to drive along the road. Thank you for your patience. Mummy and Daddy Pig are coming to pick up Pepper and George. Oh, no. We're stuck in a traffic jam again. <laughs> like you said, Mummy Pig, we just have to be patient. Or maybe we could take a shortcut. Happy Christmas! Pepper and <laughs> Kylie are such good friends. Well, you've arrived at just the right time. We're off to the beach. The beach? On Christmas Day? Yes. It's always hot here at Christmas time. <laughs> Is everybody ready? Yes! yes. Then let's go. <laughs> Hooray! Oh, look. Mr Wallaby is here. Hello, Mr Wallaby. Well, blow me down if it isn't our friends from far away. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas, Pepper. What are you doing? I'm getting the barbie fired up and ready to cook Christmas lunch. Ooh. We're going to have corn on the cob. Hooray! Hooray! Everyone likes corn on the cob. Christmas on the beach is great. The only thing that would make it better would be snow. <laughs> but this is Australia, mate. We never have snow at Christmas. Pepper, does it snow at your Christmases? Yes. It always snows. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen real snow. What is it like? Hmm. Snow is cold. And snow is fluffy. And when you walk in snow, it is grunchy. Snow sounds so nice. What else can you do with it? Make a snowman. We use sticks for the arms, stones for the eyes and mouth, and a carrot for the nose. <laughs> <laughs> we do the same on the beach, but with sand instead of snow. What? We use sand to make the body and head. Driftwood for the arms, beach pebbles for the eyes and mouth. <laughs> and a corn cob for the nose. Wow! What could be more Christmassy than that? Ho, ho, ho! Father Christmas! <laughs> Here are George's friends, Richard, Edmund, Zuzu and Zaza. George and his friends are skiing together like a long caterpillar. <laughs> 
it is Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. I love this bit. It's all wibbly wobbly. Wibbly wobbly woo. <laughs> <laughs> Here is Mandy Mouse. She has a mono ski. Hello. Hello, Mandy. Look at me go. <laughs> Here is Danny Dog. <laughs> He is on a snowboard. Hello, everyone. Hi, Danny. Look at me jump. Wow, you're all skiing so well. Yes, you're almost as good as Mummy and me. Mr Pig, what is your best ski trick? Can you go backwards? Backwards? I think that's impossible. Yes, I don't think anyone can ski backwards. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Everyone has arrived at the bottom of the slope. That was good! <laughs> again! Again! Yes! Let's get the ski lift. This is the ski lift. It takes everyone to the top again. <laughs> Skiing is my most favourite thing in the whole wide world. Oh, Mandy, I thought your favourite thing was cheese. Ah, uh, yes. Cheese is good too. <laughs> Everyone is back at the top of Snowy Mountain. Now we ski down again. Yay! Let's go! <laughs> Stop! Hang on a moment. Since we're all together, it's a great chance to get a photo. But, Mummy, we want to ski down again. Oh, it won't take a moment. Everyone squished together so I can see you all in the picture. That's good. I just need to go back a bit to get you all in. Uh, Mummy Pig, you know you're standing on the edge of the mountain. Yes, yes. Good. I can almost see everyone now. There. Big smile, everyone! <laughs> what? OK. Keep calm. Don't panic. We'll just... Get some help. Undersea party. Here we go. Undersea parties. Brought to your house by Miss Rabbit. Sounds good. Click here and I'll be straight over. Hello. Wow, that was quick. How many days have I got to plan this party? It's tomorrow. No problem. You go to bed. I've got this. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Good night. Right, let's get to work. It is Goldie's birthday. Miss Rabbit has made an amazing undersea world with shells, seaweed and big waves on the walls. Wow! <gasps> you did all this in one night? It's unbelievable. Happy birthday, Goldie. <laughs> oh, who can that be? Well, you said it was a party... So I invited everyone! Happy birthday, Goldie! <laughs> Hello, Penny! Hi, Peppa! This is Penny Polar Bear. I never been to an undersea party. Bye, Penny! Have a lovely time! <laughs> I've made costumes for everybody! You can be a mermaid, Peppa. <laughs> Thank you! And here is a crab costume for George. Pinch, pinch! I am Susie Octopus. <laughs> I'm Mandy Shark. Squeak. But I'm not a scary shark. I only eat cheese. <laughs> Penny Polar Bear is a penguin. <laughs> Danny Dog is a pirate. Aha! Rebecca Rabbit is, um... I'm a fish finger because I love fish fingers. <laughs> I'm a sea captain and Edmund is a jellyfish. I'm not convinced this costume accurately represents a jellyfish, but I'm not going to spoil the fun. Oh, you all look brilliant! <laughs> soft, soft, hard, moo! And then concrete sets as hard as rock. OK, sorry about the wait. What exactly were you all asking? What 
are you doing? I've made a concrete base. But why? To put this clubhouse on. <gasps> if you don't want it, I can take it away again. We want it! Actually, that does look quite good. It's got a slide and a swing and all kinds of other fancy stuff. Hooray! Let me show you around. This is the front door. It looks a bit small, Mr Bull. That's because it's not for grown-ups, Daddy Pig. It's for children. Wow! Everything is children-sized. Yes, the clubhouse is not too big and not too small, but just right for children. <gasps> There's a toy cooker. The toy cooker is made of wood and has a light that comes on inside. And a toy fridge. It's got plastic cheese inside. There's a telephone. Does it work? Well, it's a toy telephone made out of wood, but you can pretend it works. Ring, 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 ring. Aren't you going ring, to ring, answer that? Ring, ring. Hello, Peppa Pig speaking. <laughs> Who is this? Who is it? It is the king of the world. Thank you. Yes, I am busy right now. Goodbye. <laughs> Peppa loves the wooden telephone. <laughs> This is the hatch with a counter. Ooh. It's like a little shop or a cafe. What do you want from our cafe today, Mr Bull? Um, what have you got? We have pretend coffee or pretend tea. OK, pretend tea, please. There you go. Have a nice day. 